Hello everyone and welcome to round 5 of the Formula 1 2014 SRL Championship. Today we're in Spain for the first European race of the season and joining me once again back in the commentary box is Jamie. Hello again, today we are at one of the most demanding tracks on the cars and the tyres with high downforce required and high tyre degradation possibly causing a few issues. We are predicting a dry quality and race with this one with no storm clouds in sight. So in Season 2, Biceman 11 took the victory followed by Manicum with Warm 23 coming home in 3rd place and Manicum actually took his first ever pole position last season. So without any further ado, let's head to the qualifying report. So, unfortunately, uh, due to uh, capture card problems, we do not have footage of Collie, but we do have the results for you here. Uh, the Red Bulls uh, got a 1-2 again. Uh, Damon number 5 doing well in the Sauber, getting third place. Postman 11 in fourth, and the Mercedes. TJ Robinson, first of the Forest in fifth. Bill one and Bob uh, having quite a good qualifying in seventh, the first of the McLarens there. Goldfish 138, the other Ferrari in eighth. Matt Meerkat in ninth. King Rock in tenth. Taking a quality ban from his instant at Malaysia with C Jamit. Uh, C Jamit just behind him who disconnected during quality, so unfortunately will not be in the race in 11th. And then it's Jared and Aresi 666 who failed to attend this event. Uh, she's also worth mentioning that OTG and Rafifa have withdrawn from the league as of this round. It's race time at the Circuit de Catalunya. It's King Rock and C Jamit commentating for you today. And we've got another bone dry race ahead of us. And here we are looking upon another Red Bull front row. And on board with King Rock Hammer. And the potato cam of Goldfish 138. We've been limited on capture cards this race. So you will be seeing many different perspectives. Obviously recorded from webcam. So here we go. Five red lights. Lights out. Away we go. And Rockhammer starting on the primes will not get as good of a run. And for once we can see what happens at the front. And Goldfish starting in 8th place has got a good run on the run down to turn 1. And uh, Rockhammer is going to take it easy through the first corner. As his teammate runs slightly wide through there. There's contact ahead as someone's kicking up the dust to turn 2. And uh, looks clean as so far as there's more dust. Matt Mirka and Jamie905 run wide. That allows Rockhammer back up into... Uh, seventh place I think and uh, the two Mercedes are dueling up front is Malakam so further down the field at the moment oh the two Mercedes have come together they're both in the gravel I think and uh, I don't know which one took the other off if both man's come off worse in all of that and uh, Rockhammer has uh, failed to seek the initiative from that it's got Meerkat right behind him and uh, up to rate my apologies as we've now got Jamie 905 and Boastman side by side to turn 9 not the preferable corner to go side by side as they run down into the last sector Rockhammer diving down the outside but can make uh, nothing of it so a pretty uh, spicy start to the race there yes definitely uh, we're on board with Ben and now we're back with King Rockhammer who's just behind Boastman it's calmed down during this final sector but yes we had quite a crazy start there we saw the Mercedes uh, go off a little bit and we're on board with Malikum going through the final corner after this first lap. And it looks like Silver Legend 29 has got a run on him uh, down this pitch straight. Uh, pulled out to the right and it looks like he's got a little bit better straight line speed. Possibly running uh, less downforce and we're going down to turn one. And Silver Legend has got the place but will Malikum get round back the outside because of uh, Silver Legend uh, breaking a bit later there. But uh, yeah, Silver Legend has taken the place. And Goldfish has made his way up to third uh, from eighth place. So he's had a wonderful start there. And uh, that was pretty much over and done in the first sector there for Goldfish. He's now got Boatman up the inside of Jamie 9 and 5. Runs a bit deep but keeps the position. And Malakam's not going to give up the race lead without a fight it looks like. And uh, Boatman and Jamie 9 and 5 still battling through turn 5. And Rockhammer's just sitting back waiting patiently. And uh, Matt Mikat's fallen a little bit backwards as we've got a replay of the start. So King Rockhammer got quite an average start there. You can see Matt Mika got a great start and uh, straight down uh, the side of Bill 101 Bob and getting into the slipstream there. Uh, getting past uh, two cars at the start. And then it's King Rockhammer who breaks a little bit early but again gets a great cut back on his teammate uh, into ninth. And then that sets him up to chase after Matt Mika. Uh Who runs the ride there and then he goes down the inside. Easy moves there for King Rockhammer. And now we're on board with Goldfish138, his perspective of the start. 
Uh, looks like he got a similar start to Bill 101 Bob there and got into the slipstream Little God which helped him get past uh, Bill 101 Bob into turn one, passed his teammate and then got a bit of, bit of a uh, bit of a moment there where Little God had to break uh, possibly and that could have cost him some straight line speed but we're going through and then he runs a little bit right but he gets away with that. Um, oh. Oh yes, that's the Mercedes uh, going off. Um, not sure what you made of that. Here we go. We've got another view of King Morgan's perspective. It looks like they just went a bit wide there, both of them at the same time. I think both men was probably trying to run his team out, out of road, but instead run himself out of road, and it came off worse for him. Yeah. Um, as Lil Le God passed him straight back on the exit, probably not happy considering the rivalry they've had since the beginning uh, during season one. And this was uh, a pretty easy move down into turn one, you have to say. Malikam not really fighting that hard at all so uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what will happen later in the race between those two obviously silver legend with the wheel and mannequin with the pad theoretically the pad uh, is less hard on the tires because obviously got more traction as matt meerkat is going for a move down into turn one breaks nice and early uh, rockhammer does and uh, relinquish relink i can't say that word but gives up the position against the Force India as he knows he's on a different compound of tyre and wants to lose as minimal time as possible. So uh, Rockham will start to gain on the option tyre runners uh, later on in the race. During practice we saw um, the tyre life lasting on the options about 10 laps and the primes lasting as high as probably 16-17 laps. So Rockham can go a good long way on these tyres compared to the option runners but obviously the option runners will pit earlier and get the undercut on him. So it will become interesting to see what Rockhammer does later in the race and uh, a pretty lonely race for him and, well, pretty lonely race for the, both of the McLarens uh, at the back. But meanwhile, we've got more teammates dueling at the front with Silver Legend and Manikin, but Goldfish is actually hanging on, only 1.6 seconds behind this early in the race. Yeah. And, uh, um. go on. Uh, Goldfish 138 uh, set a fast lap there, so he could be using the tyres, possibly try and get into this battle with the leaders. Uh, this is a higher dig, higher dig track, so we need to watch out for tyre wear. Um, that may it might cost Goldfish 138 uh, later in the race. Uh, Malakum, after losing that position at the start, is definitely not giving up on this. You can see he's uh, four tenths up on his personal best there, and he's right behind his teammate now, so he might have a go into the pit straight where there is DRS. Taking as much of the curb there as possible for at that corner uh, to get the uh, shortest, uh, the best run out of that corner, and then now he's into the chicane. Look how close he is. Yeah, very close at the moment. And oh, bit of an oversteering moment. Silver Legend 2010 pits, and so does Goldfish 138, and we're on lap nine. Yeah, we skipped a long way into the race there. I didn't even realise that. But uh, later in the race, obviously, this tyre wears uh, kicked in, so Silver Legend uh, has had to pit one lap earlier than his teammate and uh, that's why Malakam was uh, right on the back uh, of his teammate there and uh, King Rockhammer stays out obviously because he's on the primes Matt Meerkat also pits and so does someone else and Rockhammer uh, is a head of Silver Legend and Goldfish and that could be critical to where Malakam comes out as well uh, he might actually jump his teammate if Sil Silver Legend gets uh, held up enough here he is uh, still running pretty well on his 10 lap old options you have to say um, but the tyre wear will kick in for the pad users uh, probably this lap or the next so it will be interesting to see how much further he goes uh, in this race as Silver Legend dives it down the inside of turn 5 from a long way back there with Rockhammer being very fair and giving him room and probably doesn't want to lose uh, that much time with the McLaren with the Red Bull even, as you can see the tyre wear really beginning to kick in now for Malakam. He's got TJ, I think, behind, closing the gap. Uh, TJ's been historically very good on his tyres in the past, so through the last chicane, does Malakam pit? Yes, he does. He's not got any more rear tyres left, so what will he do? I think Silver Legend and Goldfish have gone back out on option tyres. Here's Goldfish on the back of Rockhammer now. And uh, Malakam also going for another set of options as uh, Rockham is really understeering on those harder, slower compound tyres. And Goldfish is going to be right behind him onto the pit straight.
Yep, yeah, um, we got Malakam there just leaving the pit, who is also on to a fresh set of option tyres. Will he come out ahead of King Wakama? It looks like he won't, he is behind. And we got Goldfish 138 uh, getting past King Wakama now, who is on option tyres versus the prime tyres. Uh, Malakam leaves the pits, and uh, we'll be wanting to make some uh, ground here after Silver Legend 2010. Didn't waste any time getting past King Wakama. So we're into the long right-hander turn three. Going into turn four, and uh, this is one of the more uh, technical parts of the track we're coming up to now. Uh, we got back on board with Malakon, who is behind King Wakama, as we have said. It gets into the rich mix. He's going to be trying to get past his uh, prime tyres of King Wakama, who's about uh, 10 laps or 11 laps old now. So, yes, we need to make some ground here for Malakon. Uh, onto the straight now. Does he have DOS? We don't know, unfortunately, but uh, uh, making some good ground. Breaks a lot later than King Arkham there. Uh, probably going to set him up on the pitch straight. You can't really overtake ground here. It's very close low, but uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, really think about a move at the moment. We're going into the chicane now at this final corner. <laughs> yeah, you can... You can visibly see how much more grip uh, Malakam's got at the moment on those old, on these on these newer tyres, and now he's setting him up for the move. Moves down to the inside of the track. Rockhammer puts up no fight as Silver Legend sets the fastest lap on those newer tyres. So next up on Malakam's hit list is Goldfish 138, uh, running in second now. So he's doing well so far this race as uh, Rockhammer managed manages to cut the uh, third corner. Which is impressive yeah. in its own so right. He's doing a bit off-roading then. <laughs> yeah. So Malakam now up to third, and we're, he has one lap pressure tyres than the two in front of him. So theoretically, he should actually close up the gap. And you will actually see, uh, as you've saw, you've seen there, you'll be seeing a lot of people uh, flicking their fuel mixes around through this race and the rest of the season because the drivers has now worked out that. Um, it's Bill One and Bob has given up with the race. Uh, you, uh, the drivers have worked out that uh, you get less wheel spin um, when you go down to lean mix. So uh, it's better just to run lean mix through the slower speed corners and run rich for the rest of the straight. It's more fuel efficient as well around some of the tracks. So you pretty much run lean for the whole of this last sector and round about uh, through this last corner round about now you'd want to put it up into rich mix so you don't get any wheel spin and uh, Malakam now in the position of DRS and Goldfish tries to break the slipstream. Malakam also sitting the fastest lap there so clearly he's got pace on these newer tyres and closing right up to the back of the Ferrari into turn one. Doesn't go for a move, he's smart enough to realise that this race won't be won on this lap. There's still a long long way to go. Yeah, uh, down into lean again as uh, Shane has been just been explaining. Uh, Gofresh 138 uh, ran a bit, running a bit right at the moment in a few of these corners. Uh, it doesn't look very happy during this stint. They're locked up there, as you see, which is very hard to do on this game. Um, goes defensive a little bit there, I think. Uh, Malakam taking a lot more curve there into these corners, which is helping him uh, get closer to Coldfish 138. And Jamie 995 has retired from the race after having a great quality, so we're not sure what's happened to him, but... Thoroughly disappointing there for him, and Malakam now going down the inside on this small back straight with the DOS, and gets past a Gofish 138 there now, who is going to be chasing after his teammate. Goldfish uh, made the defensive moves um, earlier on in the lap, but decided not to defend into turn 10, oddly enough, as Malakam runs a bit deep, so... Uh, will Goldfish try and come back at the Red Bull down into turn one? He's lost a lot of the final chicane, obviously being on older tyres, so uh, it doesn't really help him. But he has got DRS into turn one. Will Malakam defend? Yes, he does. And Goldfish has no option but to go around the outside, but he's broken way too late and, yeah, on the uh, on the runoff through turn two. So Malakam now back up into second place, 4.3 second gap to his teammate and will no doubt be trying to close that gap down and uh, yeah it's still 4.3 for the first sector so uh, now later on lap 15 we've got Lil God right behind King Rock Hammer as they run down into turn 5 Lil God diving up the inside of uh, the McLaren and uh, I think the McLaren might be just breaking early that's why everyone else seems to just be dive bombing him from quite a, a while back you have to say and that's Lil God 
up to fourth. So now Rockham is beginning to drop uh, back down the field quite dramatically. And uh, we'll hopefully, uh, well, we should be pitting relatively soon, I would say. And uh, now later on lap 16, Lil God has pulled away, obviously, with fresher tyres. And TJ's right behind. And Rockham appeals into the pits now. So uh, now he will probably go on to the options. Yes, he does. And we'll probably try to do two option stints to the end. Yeah, some of these runners at the front will have to pit for the prime tyres uh, very soon, if not already. So this is uh, going to be King Rockhammer's chance now to show uh, how he can overtake all the cars in front uh, on these fresh option tyres. Now he's done a 125, 112 for his best lap, but obviously that will improve now he's on the option tyres and he'll be chasing down the field very hard indeed. So on board with Malakum, who has caught up with his teammate there on the option tyres into rich mix now and it looks like so 1129 one and a bit ride there but it doesn't cost him too much time it takes a very wide line into that corner to get a uh, very good slingshot effect there and it looks like we've got a, a comparison here as minus 1.2 minus 1.1 so you can see the gap is going down now every lap at the moment with Malcolm. he is working very hard now to regain the lead that he lost at the start we're down into lean uh, can we look at the DOS for the small back straight past the Rolex sign and here we go, we're going to, ooh, is that a bit of oversteer there for Malikum? Uh I'm assuming he's on the DRS now, uh, in the slip stream of his teammate, but unfortunately can't get close enough, and very close there between the pair of them. Uh, we're into this tw uh, tight and twisty now, sector three. Um, going to be looking just to be very careful on the four or now, not to lose any time, and then into the DRS straight, pitch straight, where he can possibly make a move, and... Silver Train 10 takes a wider line out of the last corner, gives him a uh, bit of a gap there. He's gone straight to defensive. Uh, Malikum, assuming he is, on, he is on the DRS, but unfortunately I don't think he's going to make enough time. So Silver Train 10's line there seems to be very good, helping him at the, uh, in the pitch straight. Keep away from his teammate for now, but it's only a matter of time, you'd have to say, Shane. Indeed, and uh, with that helpful graphic that we had at the bottom you could see how much quicker Manicum is on those fresher tyres gaining uh, a second and you can see the drop off of Silver Legend although he's uh, gaining some consistency now and uh, now we've got Rockhammer on the back of Matt Mirkat he's closed up uh, around about a five second gap I think and he's got the DRS and uh, is miles quicker than what he was doing earlier in the race on those primes already getting down to a 23.7 but that's obviously about 1.5 Seconds slower than Malakam up front as Matt Mikat's run a little bit deep and gets caught on the curb I think and loses the back end and that's pretty easy uh, Pretty easy position there for Rockham as Malakam I think taps the back of his teammate there and uh, we, we saw last lap. Oh, he's gone off and so I think Silver Legend just lost the back end on his own there and uh, Malakam's up through into first place so those fresher tyres definitely helping for the guy in second place in the championship. And there's a 10 point gap between these two, remember. And Silver Legend is the one on top. He pits as well, we can see in the mirror. So uh, once again, Silver Legend going for the undercut on his teammate. And Goldfish has interestingly enough dropped back. Here he is, he's dropped back from the two Red Bulls. So not been happier on this set of option tyres. Malcolm's been very ha happy on his second set of options. But uh, Silver Legend has already done his pit stop. That's how much uh, Goldfish has dropped back behind now. So onto the prime tyres. He's got some spare fuel to use. And no doubt he'll probably try to go to the end. And that should be well within the uh, tyres to do 14 laps to the end. So uh, it looks good for Goldfish for third place at the moment. Uh, comfortable third place. And now we're on board with Rockhammer. Uh, I think going to pass Lil God now. Uh, maybe I think so. I think he's just yeah. passed Lil God. He's just come out of the pits So what come out up into sixth place now still got a lot to do this race um, It's not a comfortable sixth place where he is at the moment because he's still got to catch and pass Lil God Because uh, obviously he's got one extra stop to make um, Considering that he started on the primes remember so uh, Malakam now through the last sector No doubt is probably going to pit at the end of this lap because he probably doesn't want to lose out to his teammate once again as he uh, goes through the last sector, he's losing the back end, so these tyres misses that apex horribly. And uh, he's obviously losing the back end as well. Manikin will probably like the fact that Silver Legend appears to be stuck behind TJ. 
uh, who's uh, 22 seconds behind. So it's going to be very close between the, red, the two Red Bulls as we now look at the Red Bull go to work on the championship winning team at the moment. And a very calm stop for them. Oh, and Matt Meerkat's destroyed this car. That, uh, at that would look that could be a safety car, and uh, with the pit stops just happening, that uh, yeah, rage crits there, Matt Meerkat, and uh, Malikum leaves the pits, uh, probably questioning if there will be a safety car at this point. So we will have to see about that. Uh, On to the prime tyres now. Uh, his teammate has got past TJ there, as you can see on the left. Um, and uh, yes, uh, Goldfish one three eight. <clears throat> Uh, in fifth place at the moment, running wide, but uh, there we go, we got a safety car, so Matt Meerkat's instant uh, appears to be uh, bad enough for a safety car by the race director there, has thrown the uh, car out, so uh, the field are have to bunch up behind, and this could make things very tasty uh, in this final uh, laps of the Grand Prix. So, um, yeah, so uh, Matt Meerkat crushing at a really odd place at turn... Uh, well, from the the second DRS zone on the opposite side of the chat where we are now. Uh, and Goldfish has gone through. Malikum's gone through as well. King Rockham is going through, which is a little bit odd considering he still has a stop to make. Uh, for another set of options, I really doubt he'll try to go to the end. So, up, up to third at the moment, but is probably no doubt probably going to change that. Malikum's caught the back of the safety car. Goldfish up to second, Rockhammer third, and uh, Silver Legend is probably pitted again to try and ensure he goes to the end with those uh, with a new set of primes. Uh, and now we are going on to the pit straight behind the safety car again, and I think Rockhammer is gaining some some positions as he pitted. Yes, he has pitted, so he's going. Onto a new set of options, I would think, considering there's only 10 laps to go. Boseman's also followed him in, uh, selecting options. He is going back on out on the option tyres. So uh, that is uh, the McLaren's driver's choice, and these two will be on the freshest tyres uh, at the end. And the tyre life is about 10 laps, so uh, we've got 11 to go, including this one. But obviously this is under a safety car, so this actually might work out quite well for the McLaren and the Mercedes at the back. Yes, that could be an inspired decision there from King Wakama and Boseman 11 there, uh, going on to the fresh set of option tyres. It's actually worked out in his favour, actually, uh, going to the options there for his second stint. So this uh, could be good for them too. We are on board with Gofish 138. Uh, safety car is in this lap, so we're about to get underway again. Everybody just warming their tyres at the moment, just trying to keep some temperature in the brakes and the tyres. And uh, on board with King Arkham, everything's very slow, calm before the storm, you'd have to say. Goldfish 138, looking already at the outside of uh, Malakum, but mm. we're getting underway now. He moves and he goes now. On to the final corner, we are past the DRS line, and it's green flag, we are racing again. Goldfish 138, uh, not really actually... Uh, making a good restart there and yeah, nowhere near Malikum at the moment you have to say. Silver Legend Train 10 his teammate will be hoping for another Red Bull one too so we're looking to get past as soon as possible. So it looks like Malikum uh go for from create there got a bit of time there uh, through those first corners but Ronald Ball with King Arkhammer uh going through the corners now past under the fly Emirates bridge and locking up a little bit there going on to the outside. Uh, half a second behind Little God, and it looks is that a red ball going wide? Is that uh, Silver Legend 2010? I think that is. That is uh, that was going to that's making things very interesting up ahead there. Going in towards the back straight, TJ Robinson, Little God looking for a move there, and that's really helped King Walker right now. You can see how much he's gained it already. Little God going past Little God, Little God running a bit wide. Got to avoid the gravel there, otherwise you lose a lot of time. Still alongside. And who breaks later? Little God does, but we'll, oh, King Arkham, I think attempted to cut back there, but caught Little God's car, so that didn't happen. Gets past TD Ooh. Robinson, and it looks like there was a car on the left there, King Arkham. Yep, so both been, yeah, that could have been quite disastrous. Um, it had both man 11 not, uh, not had a good rareness there, but he did. Um, into the final chicane, it's calmed down a little bit there. On board with Goldfish 138 again, who's lost a lot of time to Malakum. Silver Legend Train 10 also just behind. So this is costing Silver Legend Train 10 now for the, the Grand Prix, you have to say. Um, 
And now Sibylla is trying to end. does make the move. Going down in the inside. Breaks a lot later, but we'll go fish one free. Get the cut back. Uh, nearly, but it looks like Sibylla in 2010 has kept the place. And a great move there from the red ball driver. Yeah, so uh, Goldfish obviously being on, I think, probably the oldest set of, of tyres that we've got in the field at the moment. Um, and Malakam, uh obviously, with the second oldest set, still out in the lead. And the tyre wear might actually kick in before Silver Legend can actually get up uh, to his teammate. Even though he's probably got the benefit now, he's probably going to struggle towards the end of the race. Goldfish and, uh, I believe, TJ might be in trouble here because they've got the two Mercedes and King Rockhammer and the McLaren both on, well, all three of them are on the option tyres and uh, TJ's already dropped to the back of this queue now um, with his prime tyre stint so Goldfish might lose out as well as Lil God's up the inside that's not a really an overtaking place will he pull it off around the outside? No, it goes too wide and TJ actually ends up giving up with the rest of the race and uh, pretty, 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 he'd uh, probably hope that uh, nothing else goes on in this race, otherwise it could cost him dearly. His goldfish runs wide through the chicane. Lil God sails back up the inside, and uh, that might be position up through against Lil God. And I think Rockhammer's trying to go through as well down the outside of Lil God, already ahead of Goldfish. Will he pull it off around the outside of turn one? Uh, breaks a little bit late, just about. Did he keep it within the confines of the trap there? Go and uh, he's lost a position. Boseman down the inside as well. A little bit of a tag there through turn three. That wasn't really an overtaking zone, but Goldfish didn't really leave him any space. So uh, a lot happening uh, so far right now at the moment as uh, Rockhammer here leads the two Mercedes in third place and it will be stunning if he can keep this he'll get his first ever podium but not running wide at turn five won't secure it Lil God up the inside into turn seven and uh, runs him ever so slightly out of road dips into the gravel but Boseman just goes off in the back in the mirrors there I have no idea what the hell just happened to him but uh, we're going to get some replays now on board with Rockhammer picks up the slipstream of Lil God, picks up the DRS as well. Goldfish tries to come back over, but Rockhammer has none of it. Go uh, Lil God, I think, opens his DRS pretty late, and that helps Rockhammer get into the position to overtake. It leaves him a lot of room and just about keeps it within the white lines. And uh, that was a pretty good move from Rockhammer, getting a double overtake into turn one. And this is him now uh, relinquishing the position to Lil God. And watch both men in the mirrors just all of a sudden darts off the track there um, hopefully there wasn't lag it might have been actually on board with goldfish uh, it probably taps the left yeah. rear of Rockhammer there and just spins off and weirdly and now we've got Rockhammer right on the back of Lil God out of the last corner and picks up the slipstream and DRS and sails back into third place so these two are gonna have a battle for the podium Lil God hasn't had the podium for an awfully long while and uh, well the last time he picked up a podium was the race win that he got last time in well for the last race of the season in season two but he desperately wants to be up there fighting for the lead in championships and uh, Rockhammer is still trying to find his first ever podium in this league will he get it here today he's got it at the moment but obviously there's another six laps to go at the end of this one and once again Nilgod's getting a good run out of turn five there but can't make anything of it so far yeah, King Wakama might be feeding the pressure here at the opportunity of getting his first ever podium in Supreme Mason League. Little God will not give up without a fight. He's also trying to make a comeback after a Season 2 uh, disappointment. And uh, locking up there, King Wakama and Little God giving him all the pressure that he doesn't need right now. Uh, just got to keep calm uh, in this scenario, uh, keep things on the track in the right direction, defend well, and he will get his first podium, but will he be able to pull it off? We will see. Uh, Little God now going to be having the DOS on this next pitch straight, and uh, you have to say if uh, King Wakama uh, not careful, it might be a done deal here, because uh, I know he's actually had quite a good exit. I think Little God will not be able to get close enough, but he is obviously going to try in the slipstream as well. They're making some big gains, actually, Little God there. Pulling out to the outside, will he be able to pull it off? I don't think that's really the best option for him. And uh, look, King Wakama, rightly so, uh, is allowed to uh, running out of road there, uh, taking the racing line. We're on board with Malakam, who's in the lead, uh, quite calm at the moment, uh, up there in the uh, uh, oh. 
Yeah, King Rakamura. Ooh, onto the grass. Very, uh, yeah, big mistake there from King Rakamura. As I said before, uh, feeling the pressure, possibly a pressure rise uh, mistake there from King Rakamura, who is now back down into fourth, but will obviously keep trying because he really wants this podium, like all drivers do in this league, uh, wants to get their first podium and eventually their first win. Uh, trying very hard. You can see now uh, King Rakamura has given it all it's got. He's got the DRS, but. Uh, yeah, a little god. Oh, no, he locks up. Now, this is not good from King Rockham. He just needs to calm it down a little bit. And just keep things clean because this is not helping him at all. Now, little god is actually uh, probably about a second or two now ahead. So that uh, might have just cost King Rockham his first ever podium. And uh, Goldfish138 behind is looking at uh, King Rockham's uh, backside now. <laughs> um, onto the pitch straight. And uh, I'll see King Wakama will keep trying now. Yeah, and uh, you might be right there, that might actually cost him the podium. A silly mistake, uh, cutting the apex of the uh, fourth corner, compromised him on the exit, and that just gave Lil God an absolutely clean run. And uh, now, uh, quite a few laps later, coming on to the last lap, I think we are, and you can see how the tyre wear is beginning to kick in for King Wakama now on these option tyres. Goldfish is right behind on the prime tyres, the slower tyres theoretically because it's a harder compound but it also lasts longer and uh, Lil God up ahead is also on the option so Rockhammer will probably close in for the remainder of this lap but Goldfish is now right behind Rockhammer and uh, if he keeps this place Rockhammer it will still be his best ever result in the league so he just needs to keep it calm again cuts the apex of that fourth corner and Goldfish is now right behind him and a run down to turn five and Rockhammer defends and is just gonna run the Ferrari just well out of road through the apex of turn five and uh, it was keep, kept the position for now but you can see how much uh, Goldfish gained on that last lap a second nearly as Rockhammer you can see how the tire wear is beginning to kick in 20, 24 3 24 8 25 8 so uh, we have yet to see the race leader coming around the last corner. Goldfish almost runs into the back of the McLaren driver. And Boatsman is also caught back up to the Ferrari on those option tyres. As Manicum comes around the last corner, a pretty solid win for him. And uh, really needs it to boost himself up close in the championship. And uh, Rockhammer coming through the last two apexes. And uh, Mike and uh, looks like he's probably going to get his best ever result in SRO, and he knows it. Weaving across the line, Goldfish coming home in fifth place, but this is the race winner. Third race victory of the season, Malakam in the Red Bull, and a pretty dominant win in front of his teammate. And after that amazing race, uh, Malakam has won the Grand Prix again for Red Bull, with Silver Legend 2010, three seconds behind. Uh, Little God in third, having a great race there, a good, well-deserved podium in, uh, in the Mercedes. King Rock coming fourth, his best ever was over the Supreme Racing League, uh, deserves a massive well done there for uh, putting on a great show and a good fight for the uh, final podium decision with Little God. And Goldfish from Fier in the Ferrari in fifth, Postman 11, the other the Mercedes in sixth, uh, the last of the finishers with uh, quite a few DNFs uh, in seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. And then it's C Jamit who failed to start the race after a disconnection with Manu's Jared and Resident Evil And so the gap at the front is reduced down to three championship points. Yet again, it's going to be a duel between the two Red Bulls, it looks like. And uh, Boseman and Goldfish now tied up yet again for the second time this season, only after round five, both on 55 points at the moment. And then it's pretty close. We've got TJ and Nilgard separated by one point and uh, Rockhammer moving up to ninth with that fourth place and uh, Bill and Bob getting himself out of the relegation zone because no one else is in the league. The Constructors Championship looks like this after this Grand Prix Red Bull Racing Renault 205 points per now a massive gap over Ferrari now who is in second Mercedes in third one point behind them McLaren Mercedes in fifth uh, up with uh, King Rockhammer's fourth place there South Ferrari in sixth Force India in seventh and Lotus Renault in eighth so that concludes round five of the season. Join us again for round six. It's the Monaco Grand Prix, the one and only. It's the most glamorous race of the season. Be sure to join us and I'm sure it will be an absolutely amazing Grand Prix.